What's up guys, welcome to Daily Refinement. This is my new broadcast that's called Daily Refinement 2.0. I'm gonna release this on Spotify, iTunes, everywhere podcasts are listened to, also on YouTube. And if you wanna watch it on YouTube at my channel, Daily Refinement, you can see all the visuals. So check out my Instagram page as well. I'll try to post one post per episode so that you guys can see the visuals in more detail. So let's get straight into it. Today's episode is how to make $500 to $18,000 profit a month reselling. So I'm gonna go over all of these different levels. And if you're just starting, I consider that level one where you're just making your first 500 bucks. And I'm gonna go over how to make goals in this episode. So this is a good one to bookmark and I recommend that you revisit your goals every single day. That way you don't get lost in the minutia of running a business, starting a business, uh, starting your own business is definitely an uphill battle, so you have to stay patient. It's a marathon, not a sprint. So the first thing is to pick your reselling income goal. Um, essentially what that means is how much do you actually want your bank account to go up each month? So a lot of people think about income and they get lost in all these numbers, and I just want to simplify it. How much do you want your bank account to go up? Are you level one, which is trying to make your first 500 bucks? You just got into this. If you're in level one, I recommend you just sell stuff around the house. Or if you've been doing this for a while and you want to start over, I still consider that level one where you're liquidating all your inventory and getting all your capital back so that you can start it the right way. And I'm going to explain in this video what the right way is because you actually set the parameters for what the right way is for you. Every reseller is different. I'm going to go over how to determine what is good for you. So level one is make your first 500 bucks. Level two is $600 a month minus taxes. Uh, level three is $1,200 a month. Level four is $3,000 a month. I would consider $3,000 a month still supplemental. Level five, $6,000 a month or more. You're probably supporting yourself or your household at this level. And then level six is $18,000 a month where you are making at least triple what normal people make. And at that level, um, you can save a lot of money and put it towards something that's maybe a little bit easier not easy but easier than reselling like let's say real estate or maybe the stock market or you have different types of investments that aren't as active as reselling reselling is a full contact sport you got to get in there and figure it out got to find the right items got to post them and out you know make a better listing than everybody else in order to sell your items so it's a very much hands-on so hopefully you can make enough money from reselling to put it somewhere else that's the goal so number one is to pick your reselling income goal also these are available on my blog at dailyrefinement.com slash blog slash, this is the first episode, so daily refinement number, or daily refinement one. If you wanna look at this later, dailyrefinement.com slash blog slash daily refinement one. Also, this model is based on the $20 profit model that was made popular by my partner in my mentorship, Tech and Sports. He says, buy an item for $8 or less, sell it and earn a $20 profit. That is the foundation of everything that we talk about. I've been talking about reselling for seven years. I've never found anything more relevant, more impactful than trying to make $20 profit on every single item. When you're doing this solo by yourself, getting it off the ground, doing it for less profit is so hard because there's so much to learn in the beginning. I'd rather you be patient and wait for a great item, sell that. Listing items that are less than great into your store, it makes this a very, very difficult task. So um, we have a mentorship. It's at patreon.com slash the resource podcast. This works on any platform, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Amazon, Etsy. If you don't make more money and you don't save more time, message us at the end of the month and we'll refund you. But as long as you are actively learning, there's no way you can't make up a $35 a month charge. In fact, routinely, you should learn things that make you thousands of dollars in the group if you're just listening. Okay, number two, this is really important. You figured out how much money you wanna make. Number two, you need to figure out what is your risk tolerance? Okay, so like, how long are you willing for an item to wait? I recommend three to six months or less. The, the more beginner you are, the faster you need your items to sell. As you start getting more space, maybe you move into a spare bedroom, maybe you move into the garage, maybe you move into a small warehouse. As you grow, your sell-through rate typically slows down, which means the bigger your store, the slower items sell. And that's just because your attention is wider in your area. You're gonna run out of really great items to sell as you grow your store. So typically your sell-through rate goes down. I'm gonna put in this example three to six months 
So in the beginning, you want to find stuff that sells in three to six months or less, 90 to 120 days. Number two, how much profit do you want to make per item? Uh, I'm going to recommend $20 profit or more. Um, of course, you can pick up an item that's a little bit less. In episode three, I'm going to go over the different kinds of items that you can pick up. And in episode two, I'm going to go over where to find $20 profit items. But when people are getting started, a lot of times they get kind of misled by items that are really cheap like they'll try to sell items that they get for a dollar or for free for 10 to 15 bucks and you can do that but it's a huge handicap for getting to the next level which i'll go over a little bit a little bit later um so here um number three you are uh reaffirming your um reselling goals every single day so number one um if you are at level one that means you have some items in your store that do not match your selling criteria. So if you're at level one, you want to sell or donate all the items that don't meet your sold criteria. So I'm actually going to go over that in episode four, which is the sold method, which is essentially it's an acronym S O L D. The S is start with listing items that meet your risk tolerance. So whatever you have decided is a quality item, you can start with that anytime. No matter how many bad items are in your store, you can add in really great items and they will still sell. Um, all these platforms want you to sell the best items. They will find you the customer if you list great items, even if you have a store full of junk. But the number one thing is to get rid of the stuff in your store that does not meet your own risk criteria. For you, it might be $5 profit. For you, it might be $10 profit. I personally recommend $20 profit or more. In my opinion, you cannot move on to stage number two, level two, until you have no items in your store that don't meet your risk criteria. If you end up getting items that don't match, let's say you buy 10 items at the store, five of them are good and five of them are not, I highly recommend the five that do not fit, do not list them into your store. Uh, if you list them into your store later down the road, you're gonna have to discount them or auction them or just get rid of them and there's no point in even listing them in the first place sell those locally sell those off of the online sites like ebay poshmark and mercari leave those items somewhere else sell them at the flea market garage sale don't post those okay so we're only going to be listing quality items and you guys determine what's quality next quality listing is going to have all these things that we talk about in the group titles pictures item specifics condition description description competitive pricing returns and promotions. This is really important. A quality listing has all of these things. And remember, in eBay, they have the listing quality report, which will go over how you rank on all of these different things to give you an idea of how you stack up against your competitors. So this, this quality item thing is a huge thing, and it's not a term that we made up. It's a term from eBay. The listing quality report goes over how quality your listings are. That's why when Tekken Sports posted on his Instagram that he's number one in every single category, that's because he's number one in all of these different things. Titles, pictures, item specifics, condition, description, description, competitive pricing, returns, promotions, and item selection. So when you add all those together, that's what creates the complete picture. And you may want to rewatch this part of the video several times to really understand that because there's so much information jammed into what is a quality listing. But if you have only quality listings and only quality items, you can skip the rest of the acronym, which is OLD. OLD only applies if you bought a whole bunch of stuff that sucks and you need to go back and fix it. So let's say that you did, right? Now you need to go back and optimize those. So O is optimize. These are items that are not necessarily quality. So they don't meet your criteria. So we're gonna get those out of our store. We're gonna essentially go to, um, we're going to fix those listings with the titles, pictures, item specifics, all that jazz. Once they are optimized, you can start selling the item. But my recommendation is sometimes people have great items, but their listing is not quality, so people can't find it. That's probably the biggest reason to join the group is so that you can post a listing in the Facebook group and say, is this a quality listing? And people will tell you what's wrong with it. And then you can start figuring out what is a quality listing for you. So once you optimize the listing, if it still doesn't sell, that means people are finding your item, but they don't buy it. Then you move on to L, which is liquidate, which means you lower the price, lower it over and over again until it sells. If it doesn't sell at $1 plus shipping, you can try the auction method at 99 cents. Let it go for an entire week. You get a boost in the algorithm. And if you can't sell it for $1 plus shipping at this point, 
I recommend donating the item. If you are on Poshmark and you don't want people to see that you're cheap selling items, what you can do is offer a private offer to liker or offer to watcher of $3, which is the lowest price that you can send on Poshmark. Get those items out of your closet. If they don't sell for $3 in your closet, it's a good time to remove that item and donate it. If you can't even sell an item for three dollars on poshmark plus shipping what is it even doing in your closet let's get rid of it if you can't sell an item for one dollar plus shipping in your ebay store it's time to take it out behind the barn it's over that item is done get rid of it move on to the next thing okay level two this is huge you got all the junk out of your store you're ready to do this the right way you only need the list one item a day that's it i'll give you guys an example there's doris who listens to my youtube channel she has a she lives in a class a motorhome and she is 91 years old she lists one to two jewelry items per day and nets 500 dollars a month now this is pretty wild to me because her store only has 15 items in it so um at the highest her store will have a hundred but she's sold a bunch of the stuff for cheap getting to this level and now she only has 15 items in her store so she started at 100 and just got use the sold method to sell through some of the junk for cheaper and now she's making five hundred dollars a month with just one one listing a day one to two listings a day this is a fantastic place to be even though she has such a small number of items such a small amount of space she's crushing a lot of resource who are stuck in level one with the huge stores lots of overhead and they're not selling any items she's just listing one to two items a day and selling one to two items a day with a tiny store she sources from thrift stores. She buys those mixed jewelry bags. Um, she also gets some estate sales. And she just lists the best items from the lot. And then, here's the key, does not list the rest. She just re-donates the rest of the stuff, buys another bag. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you want to be super safe, you would do a 14-item draft bank. And what that means is you'll have items that are ready for two weeks in case something happens. Because this channel and our mentorship is all about momentum. So if you list one item a day for 14 days, that means if in case you have a two week emergency or you wanna go on vacation, you need a draft bank, I'm gonna go over that in episode number four, go over the importance of a draft bank and why we preach that so hard in the group. And again, a lot of people might be wondering right now, why are we giving away all the best information for free? Well, the reason is because information is essentially free. I got all this information from the internet, from meeting different people. The information part is cheap. It's the implementation part that's hard. You want to be able to talk to other people and say, is what I'm doing correct? Am I moving the right direction? Is this the right way to be going? And you can't do that by yourself. The feedback makes you accelerate a lot faster. We are actually selling the execution and the accountability. We're not selling the information. I'm happy to give you all the information for free. Sounds crazy, but we wouldn't have 3,000 people in the group if the accountability and the implementation wasn't the hard part. Okay, The hard part is not the information. Buy low, sell high, that's it. But actually doing it, being surrounded by people who do the exact same thing as you, that's where that's where it's valuable. Okay, so now you're at 100 items selling at least one a day. I put 100 to 200 items because if you're at half a percent sell through rate, meaning you're picking up items to sell in six months, that's okay. In the beginning, you don't need to do that. You can pick up really fast items because you're only buying one a day. Um, but that's level two. Level three? would be you're gonna move from one listing a day to two to three listings a day, two to 500 items in your store, your draft bank's gonna to double to 35 items. How do you know you're ready to go to the next level? Your draft bank is full and your sales are where you need to be. And you can still find quality items. That's how you can know to get to the next level. So in level three, you're making $1,500 a month. Level four, $3,000 a month. I would consider that a part-time or supplemental income. Level five, this is the big boy club, right? Big girl, big boy, big girl, big boys club where you have about a thousand items in your store and you're selling 10 a day. You're making $200 a day. And for most people in America, you can survive on $200 a day. But again, this is gonna sound wild, but I consider that a D minus. Because if you're just making enough to pay your bills, that's okay, but you're not saving for the future. You're not saving for a rainy day. That's why I want everyone in the group, once you have some traction, to go for level six where you set your goals at three times the income that you need. That way, even if you fail, which I consider failing just paying your bills, 
your plan is big enough to actually take you into abundance. I call this reseller financial independence, where you're saving at least 70% of your income. If you're just starting right now, this may sound crazy because you haven't even made your $500 yet. You haven't even started yet. And I'm here telling you that you can make $18,000 a month before tax. But I'm not kidding. There's plenty of people in the group that are at that level. I am at that level. So when you are at the level where you're making as much as a doctor reselling goods online, you're saving a tremendous amount of money as long as you ain't fancy. If you guys live in a normal house, couple cars, a dog, couple kids, you're still saving money if you make $600 a day. It's a lot of money. So I want people to reach for the stars and fall on the moon. I finally learned that saying. And you want to set your plan bigger because a plan to sell 30 items a day is a lot different than a plan to sell one item a day. And again, you need to at least know what the plan is. You can choose to have a more relaxed lifestyle and choose less items to sell, but I'm telling you guys, level six where you're selling 30 items a day is the most beautiful place ever. Once I started selling 30 items a day, my life completely changed because I never had to worry about money again. Right? You never have to work for somebody again. You have extra money in case something happens. I literally got suspended on eBay, right? And it, it didn't even really affect me that much. I mean, it made me a little sad that the platform that I mainly sell on is now gone, but I already have the skills to sell 30 or more on another platform. And that's why I don't recommend cross-listing. I'm going to have that be episode number five, which is why I don't recommend cross-listing. But essentially, I don't recommend cross-listing because... Your attention is divided, and when your attention is divided, it's very hard to gain traction. And if you're not gaining traction, what are you really doing? Like, who wants to be doing this for 20 years and making the same amount of money as when they started? You want to improve over and over again. And this channel is called Daily Refinement. This podcast is called Daily Refinement. I want you guys to improve every day towards your goal. You guys have been watching me a long time. I've been talking for seven years about this online. And before, I thought Daily Refinement was just making a change every day. You don't want to make a change every day. You only want to make changes that actually improve the output, right? You only want to make changes that are good. You don't want to add something you don't like to eat to your weekly menu. You want to add stuff that actually brings value to you. So level six, guys, I'm telling you, once you're making three times your bills, you are in a position to actually help and you're in a position to actually give. Make more than you need so you're in a position to give. If everybody in the United States made a business big enough that they could hire one person, and I'm not saying you even need to hire one person, but if you could grow your business to the point where it's profitable enough to support one person, we would have zero unemployment in the United States, and that is absolutely huge. So the last part of today's video is I want you to reaffirm your plan daily and let us know how it's going in the group. Let me know in the comment section below how it's going. Use the sold method. Add only quality items. Sell or donate old items that don't qualify. Level one is one sale a day. I'm sorry, level two is one sale a day. Level three is two sales a day. Level four is five sales a day. Level five is 10 sales a day. And level six is 30 sales a day. And that is the holy land for resellers. Once you're selling 30 a day, you can literally do whatever you want, whenever you want, with whoever you want. You have paid the price to get there. You're in an amazing place that only like, 0.1% of resellers get to and it's a beautiful place to be so I appreciate you guys again this episode is sponsored by the resellers podcast is which is a mentorship I do with my partner tech and sports he is the number one seller of pre-owned clothing on eBay and holds a whole bunch of different records and again in my opinion the goat of online reselling because I'm not counting Best Buy or Adidas. I'm counting just regular people like us that are listing stuff online that they find literally in the trash. He sources from rag houses, which is wild because it's, that's after the thrift store. After the thrift store says, no, thank you, he starts looking there and still finds enough to sell 250 items a day. So if that's not inspiring, I don't know what is. Smash the like button. We'll see you guys on the next episode.